Thanks for tuning in to 7 Things. We're excited to be back sharing some fun things from the comfort and safety of your home amidst the COVID-19 pandemic. One. During these weird and challenging times, a question many of us are asking is, how are we able to help our local businesses? Well, let's start by checking out the Finding Arizona podcast, hosted by Jose Acevedo and produced by Brittany Johnson. This dynamic duo newlywed team broadcasts a weekly podcast that interviews local business owners. They strive to find out what the owner's passions are and what makes them tick. So if you know anything about small business owners, you can bet there's an interesting and inspirational story to tell. With over 234 episodes, Finding Arizona Podcast is a great resource for keeping it local. Touting a podcast of Arizona for Arizona by Arizona. Last week's episode featured a local Phoenix dessert shop. Which brings us to number two on the list. Scoopwell's Dough Bar. What the heck is Scoopwell's Dough Bar? Well, if you check out episode number 234 of the previously mentioned podcast, you're in for a treat. By that, I mean three words. Edible cookie dough. So they serve up scooped cookie dough in a dish. Check them out at scoopwells.com for takeout and delivery options. Three. It's important to stay connected while distancing. Remember the days of playing games with the family on holidays and drinking beer with your friends on game night? Yes. Well, get on the line, get virtual, and get your game on pandemic style. We recommend Super Mario on the Switch, Red Dead Redemption 2 on the Xbox, or Who Can't Draw on the mobile device thingamajigs. Whatever the game, get connected with your crew, drink beer, and play. Kids not included. Four. Earth Day is 50. That's right, the global events held every year on April 22nd to demonstrate support for environmental protection celebrates its 50th anniversary this year. There are so many ways to celebrate, learn, and respect our planet. At a local level, check out Flagstaff's Lowell Observatory's recorded YouTube live stream, Pale Blue Dot. The video features astronomers and educators looking at Earth from a solar system perspective and addresses our common bond as Earthlings. Yay, science and nature. Continuing on with the love for the great outdoors and Mother Earth theme, National Park Week and Arbor Day are both happening in April. Grab your phone, head outside, and capture a shot of the brilliant yellow bloom splendor of Arizona's state tree, the Palo Verde. Heck, if you feel safe, maybe give that old tree a little hug. Grand Canyon National Park is currently closed. But get online and explore our national parks virtually via spectacular photos and videos. Nonprofits, musicians, and performing arts organizations need our support now more than ever. Check out the Phoenix Theatre Company's website to learn about the oldest arts institution in the state of Arizona and one of the oldest continuously operating arts organizations in the country. For the first time in 100 years, the theatre has had to shut their doors. Since the show must go on, please do what you can to show your support. Seven. Binge watching Netflix is a great way to blow through a lockdown weekend. We recommend that you make some popcorn, move six feet apart, and watch Marty and Wendy Bird navigate the Missouri Ozarks with their two teenage kids. It sounds pretty ordinary until you learn that Marty gets caught up in a money laundering scheme for the second largest drug cartel in Mexico. It could have been worse, like if they were working for the actual largest drug cartel in Mexico, but still. The show is called Ozark, and you'll find it at a place called Netflix. That's where people watch TV videos on the line. Google it. Terminate. And that's a wrap. Thanks for listening to 7 Things, a World of Arizona podcast series. See you next time. And remember, more information on all these things can be found at worldofarizona.com. Bye for now. Look me square in the eyes and tell me you love me. I love you, sugar. <laughs>